Hello everyone. Welcome to the next episode of Beyond Boundaries, where we talk about the inspirational journeys of principals, educators who have transformed the landscape of education. Today we have the honor of sitting next to us Ms. Alka Sani ma'am, the principal of Maharaja Agrasen Public School, who has just changed the landscape of education. Welcome ma'am. It's been a pleasure sitting just next to you here. Thank you so much, Srishti, and it's a pleasure, you know, interacting with you. Likewise, ma'am. Likewise. How do you think you can boost that confidence just to go at the stage and just, you know, just say stuff without thinking what's next? So, what do you do, ma'am? I'm fluent. I'll say uh, again, this is a very, very delicate approach. You have to, you know. Uh, you have to make them grow at their own pace you cannot be judgmental so maybe one child is very good at communication skills because maybe is getting the same atmosphere at home other one is not getting the same atmosphere at home but when they come to school it is our duty to provide them a platform where each one of them gets an equal opportunity so we have you know peer discussions small group discussions in the classroom so it is you know like our lesson plans if you will uh, get an opportunity to go to the one of the classes you will see that each lesson plan has individual activity and a group activity and then the class discussion so when the individual activity is done maybe i'm doing my own worksheet So when it's a group activity, maybe I'm sitting with the four students. The two students who turn back and two in the front, so they make a group of four. Group discussion. Group discussion, like or maybe flash card or anything. It could be any activity they would be doing. And towards the end, it's a whole class discussion. So now the child has done on his own as well. He's done with the group, and then he's being a part of the whole class. Wow. So this is how you know inclusive. Yeah. Yes. This is how you would. Say inclusive, and I would say this is how we bring out the shy students also yes. outward, and they are able to, you know, finally able to speak. The ones who are shy also, yes. and a, a very beautiful project that we have is, you know, the research-based project. So what happens in the research-based project? You have to decide on a topic. You can do it individually. You can do it in a group. It's up to you. Like well, it's a research-based project. You're keeping and it free. Yeah. yeah, right from class nursery. Till class twelve, they're doing this project, and they have to write a like nursery baby writing. Just a small, you know, they'll do make one slide or one presentation or whatever. As they grow up, they're writing one paragraph. As they grow up, they move to class third, fourth, and fifth. By class three, they're writing a complete thesis, along like how they did the research, how they did the survey. Very nice. And that's how so that when they're you know coming up, I feel when they in class eleventh or twelfth. They're so used to it that the survey project or the research based project, they like bring ah, it on. Yeah, <laughs> like, like we, we can do it. It's so so simple it. for us. And then initially when we started it, so teachers were giving them the you know titles, the topics, and then I said no, don't force it to them. Let's see what they come up with. For the child, yeah, ma'am. Yeah, you don't believe it. Like class one students, and this is my favorite example. I still quote it. It's years now since that happened. But class one students, like they, they stood up. One said, "I want to research on why Chinese have their eyes like that." <laughs> oh the, my God, so funny. Others said, "I want to research on why universe is black." Curious questions. Yeah, and both required research. Chinese have such eyes. It, it's all genes and genetics and everything to talk about. And you know, this is black, and it's all about you know space, space you and research. how. So that's something which requires the research thing. So I think that, that's how that's how we go about it. That's how we bring the confidence in the students because they're doing it right from the beginning. Nursery class will come with that show and tell. They'll bring up any object from the class from home, and they have to just speak a line about it or a two to three lines about it. So that's how we try to. Give them the opportunities to speak and shed away their shyness and hesitancy. Thank you for such wonderful, funny stories that you could give us, and your precious time that you could give us. It was such a pleasure, ma'am. My pleasure. I would say totally my pleasure talking my heart out to you. It it was so. great. It was great, ma'am. Thank <laughs> you so much. Until next time, keep shining bright. <laughs>